to resolve the commercial agreement with um, uh, CP, the freight operator, uh, because we're gonna we're gonna we we have to get their consent to build the railway on their property, um, and that corridor where we build the railway all the way to Bo to Bowmanville um, belongs to CP, and the type of agreement we reach with them was going to affect our design and vice versa. So this is why a lot of energy went this year into um, into progressing that and to get that ready for approval. And then when Spencer has completed that, Megan is going to talk to you about what she's been doing in collaboration with um, Elaine Baxter to here and, uh, um, and, and Lorraine to progress the uh, transit-oriented communities. Basically, the develop how we involve developers to fund the build of the stations. And that's a very exciting program, and that fits with what we do across the region as well. But Spencer, take it away for us, please, and talk about some of the technical details on uh, on the railway we design. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Phil and uh, Lindsay. If we could have the next uh, slide, please. Um, and a slide really to, 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 to tell the audience here what, what, what you already know that um, Durham region is, is uh, well the, the, the GTA is a fast growing area but the, the Durham region is, is uh, the fastest growing of, of all of that and by 2041 and I'll talk about the business case in a, in a moment so we look, we look to that, that kind of um, horizon to, to, to plan our train services against that, that there'll be um, you know, 13 more million people in, in, in the region. So trying to put a sort of high quality transit link in, in there is an important thing for us to, to do. So that, that projected growth is the, is, sets out the need. Um, we, we, we also then have to find the right route to go. And we had a number of options that we published in the um, initial uh, business case and, and one of the issues that we found was that um, the initial option didn't didn't kind of work. It, it, it bypassed the existing Oshawa station and it was quite expensive to do. So we, we had to find another solution that supported the ambitions of the, the, the region, but was was uh, sensible in terms of a business case. If you could do the next slide for me, please, Lindsay. Um, and we looked at we looked at options to get uh, to get this this problem solved, and you know Phil says that it's an exciting project, and it absolutely is. We then need to put some analysis 